And we sent to Madian. Now who were Madian? Very few people know that they were also a branch of the progeny of Hazrat Ibrahim a.s. Hazrat Ibrahim buried Hazrat Sarah. There was no issue for a very long time. Then you know Allah gave him first son through Hajra a.s. Ismail. Then Hazrat Sarah also got a son. He was Hazrat Ishaq. From Hazrat Ishaq, they started this line, you know, Yaqub and then the Bani Israel, the whole history. From Ismail, the people in Arabia, these Quraysh, in whom Muhammad sallallahu was raised. But he had, Hazrat Ibrahim had another wives also. There was one wife called Qatura. And the line, you know, of progeny of Ibrahim through Qatura is called Bani Qatura. And in them, you know, this was a branch of the progeny of Ibrahim. And in them, you know, Madian, Midian or Madian was one of the sons of Katura. And they settled, you know, in the area on the eastern side of the Gulf of Aqaba. This was the area, you know, where these people were living. And this area, region is also called Madian or Midian. And the tribe was also called Madian or Midian. And among this tribe, you know, one of that tribe from their own brethren, Hazrat Shaib, you was selected by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and appointed as messenger to them. He also said the same thing. Oh my people, you do worship to Allah only, love him only, obey him only. Serve him only. Don't take any other God besides Allah. You don't have any God except him. To you a clear proof and sign has come from your Lord. What is this bayana? I quoted last night the ayah from the beginning of Surah Al-Bayyana. لم يكن الذين كفروا من أهل الكتاب والمشركين منفكين حتى تاتيهم البيانة. And what is that bayana? So he is referring to himself that this is Bayyana. A messenger has been appointed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to call you to the right path. For awful kalawal mizan. Now, in addition to their shirk, he is criticizing his people for these financial malpractices in business, in dealing. So you must complete the mayor. And you, you, when you are weighing for people, you should give full weight. Don't deprive of their things. And don't be mischief mongers in this earth after its reformation. Because after every messenger, some era was of reformation. When the people of Nuh, they were destroyed, now the nations which arose, from the progeny of Nuh for some time, they were reformed. They were only worshipping one Allah. But you know, later on, Shaitan, he led them astray. Then a messenger was sent. Then the people of Hud were destroyed. But then people who were saved, from them, you know, another nation, uh, you start. And for some time, they were on the right path. So this has been happening after every messenger of Allah. That for some time, the people used to be on the right path. This is good for you. Only if you believe. Don't sit on in wait on every road. Threatening the people and barring them from the way of Allah. Whosoever believes in Allah, you want to distort for him his religion. You want to bring about crookedness in it. Vaskuru is antum kalilan. Just remember when you were very small in number. Fakasarakum. He multiplied you in numbers. Manzuru kaifakan aqibatul mufsadeen. And you should see what had been happening and what had been the end of the mischief mongers. You must remember what happened to the people of Saleh. They were not very far off from that place. The north, the northwestern, you know, corner of the Arabian Peninsula and the east coast of Khalid Yaqaba, they are very close to each other. So in the same way, 
they knew the history of art also they knew what happened to the cities of gomorrah and sodom that was also not very far off on the banks of the dead sea these big townships were situated and they were destroyed so fanzuru kayfa kana aqibatul mufsidin wa in kana taifatun minkum amanu now if a one party amongst you has come to believe bil ladhi ursiltu bihi on what has been well what has been sent with me wa taifatun lam yu'minu but there remains a part of our nation of our tribe who are not believing who are resisting who are rejecting fasbiru so now he is addressing his fellow believers now you must have patience you will have to have the persecution from them and you have to stand fast you have to be forbearing fasbiru hatta yahkum allah bainana till until allah subhanahu wa taala gives his verdict he will decide between us now we are in two parties the party of satan and party of allah now this is this conflict is going and it will continue till allah subhanahu wa taala gives his verdict wa huwa khairul hakimin and he is the best of the judges qala al malaa alladhina istakbaru min qawmihi in the same way the chiefs of his tribe who rejected him who belied him they said la nakhrajanna ka ya shu'ab wal ladhina amanu ma'aka min qaryatina o shu'ab we shall expel you out from our city our township and not only you but also the people who are with you aw la ta'udunna fi millatina or you have to come back to our creed the creed of our forefathers whatever we had been doing you have to do that or we shall expel you you know it has happened everywhere if you know the history of greek philosophers that was the option given to socrates whatever you are preaching stop preaching or this is the cup of poison you have to take it here and now no third option either you promise you will keep your mouth shut or you take this cup of poison here and now and socrates as you know he preferred the cup of poison he took it i don't want to live when i can't propagate and i can't say what i believe what i think to be right if i am not allowed to say it out to what want to live why to live i don't want to live okay if these are the two alternatives this cup of poison is preferable for me so that was the threat you know either you come back to the fold of our creed or we shall expel you qala wa law kunna karihin hazrat shaib replied what even if we abhor it we don't like you want to you know force us to to come back to your creed qad iftarayna ala allah kadiban in udna fi millatikum ba'da iz najana allah binha if we come back to your creed after allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has saved us from it has taken us out from that darkness if we go go back then it means we had concocted and forged a lie against allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what i was preaching that meant it was not correct if i go back on that qad iftarayna ala allah kadiban in udna fi billatikum ba'da iz najana allah minha wa ma yakunu lana na'uda fiha illa in sha allah it's not possible for us to now go back to the former creed except if allah desires because he is almighty if he decides something we can't do anything but you know on our own by our own choice we will never return to the creed which we had left wasya rabbuna kull shay'in ilma our lord embraces everything in his knowledge nothing is out of knowledge allahi tawakkalna we have put our faith and confidence in him rabbana iftah bainana now he prayed to allah oh our lord you decide you give the verdict between us and them bainana baina qaumina bainana wa baina qaumina bil haqq with truth and justice you decide the matter between us wa anta khairul fatihin and you are the best of all the decisor deciders wa qala al malaa alladhina kafaroo min qaumihi la in tabaatum shu'aiban innakum idhal khasirun and these people these chiefs said to those people who had came who had come to believe in shu'aib alayhi salatu wassalam la in tabaatum shu'aiban if you follow shu'aib innakum idhal khasirun you will all be doomed 
You will be in a great loss. It was a threat given to the people. Faqazat humur rajfatu. Now the decision of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala came. The verdict came. In the form of a very big, very mighty earthquake. Fasbahu fi darihim jasameen. They were all dead. Lying in their houses, in their dwellings. Allazina kazzabu shu'ayban. Those who rejected, belied shu'ayb. Kanu humul khasirin. They were the losers. They were doomed. Fatawalla anhum. And now Hazrat Shu'ayb, you know, left them. He turned away from them. وَقَالَ يَا قَوْمِ لَقَدْ أَبْلَقْتُكُمْ رِسَالَاتِ رَبِّي And he said, O oh my people, I had conveyed to you the messages of my Lord. وَنَسْحَتُ لَكُمْ And I want most sincere to you. I want, want it most sincerely that you come to the right path. فَكَيْفَ عَسَى عَلَى قَوْمٍ كَافِرِينَ Now how can I lament about these people who were the unbelievers? What does it show? What, what does it show? He had the grief, his nation, whole nation destroyed. But you know, he says, Kafa asa al qawmil kafirin. How can I lament? Because I had, you know, warned you duly. I had conveyed to you the messages of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 